Our dearest, beloved, divine friends, family, brothers, this is your friend, your brother, me, Haji. Dr. Roshan Khan, in the raw, RK Sky on the Free Media. And as I said, I'm your host, your brother, your friend. I went back for an older newspaper because I recall this topic by Freddie Kisun, Tuesday, December 7, 2021, in which my friend and brother, Freddie Kisun, in Kaicho News, is uh, writing a very proper article. I know, maybe the, the, the Minjak might want to sue for another hundred million dollars. Somehow or the other, he thinks he has the the pension to sue. Tell people what they want, what he want, abuse, curse, attack, cause destruction within a country, encourage arson and, and, and hate while he's comfortable. And I'm talking about record work and soon as somebody rebuts him or speaks against him and what he does or what his life is, he wants to sue. That is the, the inkling, the reality of a medical man reminding me of Adolf Hitler. He, he has no honor, no dignity as far as I know. He's dealing with politics. His skin is soft. His mouth is, is rude and pompous. He reminds me of Hitler in the last days when Hitler was about to commit suicide. You know, pompous with words and humiliating and attacking everybody. But he won't come in Guyana and encourage the nonsense the he's involved with. He will do it from over there. And the American government, he says, is allowing it. He has permission because it's a democracy. Well, I don't think in, in any democratic state you can go in another country and try to overthrow another country um, or try to cause destruction in another country. Sooner or later, the Americans are going to haul him in, I'm pretty sure. So the article, all Guyanese should read which country Rick Ford Bork says he lives in by no other than the power, the mighty, the brilliant, Freddie Kisun. These guys are giving him, these, these guys that came and, uh, and uh, the other one, I, I can't call him a doctor anymore. Uh, to my opinion, uh, he, he, his doctor has gone into the, the latrines, not even toilet. Uh, David Hines, total set of people who truly needs help. Here are the words of Rick Ford Burke in reaction to police bulletins for him over calls to use violence in Guyana. But well, we know the, the, the police department has issued a uh, bulletin for his arrest due to the fact he's trying to cause uh, uh, havoc and destruction in Guyana. Here is words, man. I live in the United States of America, the greatest country in the world. The First Amendment of the United States gives me the right to free speech. You can't have free speech. Mr. Burke, I won't call you sir, not even Mr. You don't deserve it. Burke, you can't have free speech when you want to destroy another country and a nation and people and hurt or harm them. You've got to remember that. There is a certain responsibility that goes with free speech. The Guyana government and the DPP does not have jurisdiction over anybody in the diaspora over no American citizen and no Guyanese that live abroad. Right? Oh yeah, but there's something called extradition, a charge, criminal charge, which is easy, and then you move extradition. It'd be costly, expensive, and I want him to defend himself to prevent an extradition. And I know, I'm not saying we have the capacity, but I know the Israeli has used that capacity, and other great nations, I don't want to call any other names, in which they got to get somebody, like what they did to the Nazis and, and even certain uh, Palestinians, they brought them where they want them. You invite them very beautifully and send some people to walk them over. So it's very simple uh, to get anyone in if you want into a country. I mean, that's not even Fidel Castro had used systems at one time to go to the United States and bring people out into Cuba. And they rested very comfortably all the way through. Now back to the article. What do you make of that statement? Your interpretation has to be commonsensical. He's, he's telling opposition supporters who live here that they must hurt members of the government. But also in Indo-Guyanese people 
and their businesses, even though the, the vendors and the marketers who are vending in the markets are purchasing most of the things that they sell from the Indian importers. The man said, until somebody runs them off the road, a technique telling them run them off the road, a naked call to violence, but in the same breath he tells you that he lives in a foreign country and praises the foreign country which he lives in. Well, I, I have interest in the United States, and the United States is my country, and I love it very much. I, I salute the United States. But I know with democracy, I can't go speak anything everywhere, however I want to try to cause mayhem and death to people in government and, on, and, and the indo guyanese people to destroy, wipe out their business and put fire on their premises and so on. Guyanese, afro guyanese in Guyana, they are people of intellect and great wisdom. You're an anomaly, Burke. You're an anomaly of that. So you're comfortably hiding over there and telling people to do your atrocities here. Be a man. Take the challenge. Come. Come. Come on. Back to the article. A naked call to violence, but at the same time, Bretty tells you that he lives in a foreign country. Have you seen how lyrical David Hines waxed about Thanksgiving? Oh, he's probably talking about the, uh, the black pudding again. Uh, um, he told the viewers he traveled from Arizona to Maryland and had a swashbuckling time with relatives and family in Maryland, including his mother. This is the same man who held a bullhorn and told black villagers on the east coast of Deborah that they must undermine the government. But after he put down the bullhorn, he left Guyana and did not wait to be with them when they, when they started to undermine the state. So he used his mouth, he used his title, and he ran for life, never to return really to live. He ran into the foreign country and started to live there. But they put, the cowards are like that. They put people to do their dirty work, but they hide. Have you seen how lyrical the, uh, okay, finish with that. Remember, this is in the raw. Burke is urging people to fight and he's not there with them, Freddie says. I will not be there with them when they confront the police and get arrested. And even somebody because of behavior, they could get shot if you do illegal things. You could get beaten with batons. Let's see. First, it is done, done, first, it is done right contempt for people to be using them to do your bidding while you, you say you're happy in the foreign country in which you live. He's right. Oh, you're happy, but you're putting other people to do your dirty job. You have to be there when they begin to fight, after you have urged them. you got to lead them. That's why I call these guys, the both of them, they are goatish. They are like goats. Leading people, goatishly, and they are like goats. Secondly, you're proclaiming your superiority. You fling your voice at them over your meta page and expect them to follow you blindly. Yeah. Thirdly, you are urging your supporters to harm government leaders physically and when they are arrested you cannot go out of a jail cell to celebrate Thanksgiving with their mothers as Heinz did two weeks ago. <coughs> so you're sending people to do evil. Right? But you, you're enjoying Thanksgiving. Fourthly, your contempt for them is repugnant because you have told them that you cannot be touched because you're in a foreign country. And this is what these two guys believe and Mark Benchkop as well, usually. Recently, and to my opinion, Mark Benchkop has been showing more maturity than them by far. Uh, the, those factors above are strong enough reasons to ignore Burke and to dismiss him as part of a foreign bunch that has no right to be part of the Guyanese daily struggle in making Guyana a better place to live in. What has been the reaction of African Guyanese? So he's going to dilate my friend, my brother. Well, you know, Freddie Kissel and I never spoke, you know, ladies and gentlemen. You might not believe this. Not on television, 
not on person, not on radio. We never, we never met personally, you know. But I respect the guy's uh, political prowess, his, uh, his skill with vocabulary in the English language, and history and ability to extract information quickly for his articles. The man is a genius. He needs a national award, ladies and gentlemen, a national award for Freddie Kisun for journalism and political science and a mind that has, and a heart that has bravado. Okay, so what is the reaction of African Guyanese? The only people who think African Guyanese are easy prey to fool are the black leaders themselves, most of who are overseas. And now he's going to... Sherrod Duncan bought his office furniture from one of the most expensive brand name Ashley's, ladies and gentlemen. Ashley's. We have local people who, that this just came might look for him, but it is made locally by our manufacturers. And then we have people who will use our local wood to make fantastic furniture and even metal ones. But Sherrod Duncan bought his office furniture for one of the most expensive brand name Ashley's. I think he was even fired by the government and then through whatever means, beggary or whatever, um, Moses Nagamutu, <laughs> yes, that, that, <laughs> that, that, that same Moses. Um, put him back in, in the business through the fact that he was AFC and, and that kind of thing. Hangs is urging African people to buy only from African people while his dear friend bought his expensive pieces from an expensive foreign store. But how can these people be have in, any kind of a sanity? Black pudding is such a thing, you know, I mean all guys, he's like, I don't eat it anymore. I used to eat it in the early days because blood is blood, halal or not, and it's illegal in Islam. But everybody can make black pudding. I don't know. Uh, yes, it, pro it was an invention maybe by African people in the days of, of, of um, depression and pain under the white domain uh, that controlled them, and they probably invented that. Obviously, who else would have done it? They had to make do with whatever was given to them. Great people, magnificent people. So here, Sharon Duncan, his good friend, bought it from the, the most expensive foreign store. Here is what you need to do to expose these deceitful black leaders. Show Guyana that they are betrayers. Here's my proof. The Guyanese bought, this Guyanese, that himself, he, Frank Kisun, bought a bed, mattress, and pillow from for, from Ramro Furniture Store last week, where all the workers are black. <laughs> so some of them was saying, uh, Bork was trying to tell African workers to stop working for Russian Khan. <laughs> I wanted to give, the, give 15, 1,500 people jobs. 1,500 people, 1,500 mouths, multiply by at least four to get the average of the amount of mouths that I feed directly, plus indirectly. And some of the best and powerful workers and managers that I have. Do you think they will listen to you? Burke and David Hines? And this one here don't steal the NIS or the PAYE or the annual leave. So you should try to understand these things. The persons who do, do such things are more, you should know who. There's some company declare bankruptcy, your people, and restarted with the same uniform name and everything stole billions of dollars. And another, and another, and another. Back to the article. Um, let the leaders who are fooling of African Guyanese call me a liar. I will get the black staffer to appear on Kaicho News to state how generous my wife and I were when they delivered and fit up the stuff in my home and I do the same thing. Give them a tip. You know, you make, 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 make people feel a little joyful. You make people feel somewhat loved and, and, and cared. You know, you give them a tip, a love, a fruit, apple, a mango, something. 
I, and I move on. I call on African people to juxtapose my patriotism with that of Duncan. Good. So he, he's, you know, compare him to, 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 to Duncan, who went to, to the most expensive international store to purchase Ashley. With that of Duncan, Heinz, Burke, Bench Cup, and the entire school of black leaders who are, who, who are living overseas mostly. I'm telling the PPP leaders not to be afraid of the insane rumblings of these, ins, of these people because black people are not listening to them. Because African people in this country are leaders, classy, educators, doctors, administrators, managers, best legal minds, the best judges. The best magistrates, ladies and gentlemen, the best teachers. Let's be really, you know, you and I, we know that. And most of them, most Afro Guyanese, are my mentors from childhood teachers. My Russian can mentors. That's why I speak the style I do. I didn't pick this up from England or Canada or the United States. I picked this language up from my classy African mentors, my masters that educated and taught me. Back to the article. I buy my fruits and vegetables from black vendors. I don't eat black pudding anymore because I don't care which race of people mix it. Well, same thing with me. It, it, <laughs> I ain't going down this, the, 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 uh, on a Sunday morning. I feel to make some soup, and I went to all the Af my friends are the people who look nice and they talk nice and Indo Chinese lady next door calling me. Uh, I buy from the Afro Guyanese because they are not permanent there. The Afro Guyanese lady has a stall opposite. And I went and buy all my soup provision from them. Very beautiful, very sweet, nice, lovely, lovely people. But the other Indian lady was watching me. I didn't buy anything from her. This, I mean, those who see racism and this, something is wrong with your head, man. Mark, David, Bench Cop. Bench Cop, you, 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 you are more intellectual guy, you know. You need to come out to this kind of behavior and appeal to the mass of the Guyanese people, African Indians and everything. You, 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 your heart is different from those guys. At Plaisance, here is what happened on Friday with me and my wife. I parked on the street on the southern side facing the west. A group of black men was sitting on an old stall and hailed out to me in a friendly way. As I was buying the stuff, a black gentleman came up advising me not to worry about that black, about the black faces, what the black faces say on their meta page about me. And you know who you're talking about, Burke and the others. He went on to criticize and thank, he went on to criticize and I thanked him for his comments. The vendor simply said to me that she passes my home often and can't resist looking at my sugar apple tree. A former black manager of Gaisuko said to me in reference to work, Freddy, black people ain't got time with them. And Freddy answers, indeed. We want love. We want honor. We want dignity. And they're living in comfort there. You and I, we are working here in our country to develop our country and to build relationship and love and joy. This is more and more people we are having mixed, mixed marriages it's gonna be acceptable now. People who in love marry who they want, uh, live in dignity and joy. Your friend, your brother, me. Haji, Dr. Oshikan, in the raw, saying thank you and farewell.